photography guy, count us down. We're live already. We're we live had no countdown. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We didn't get a countdown. I don't know what happened. Photography guy's Hello. failing us. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, people. Welcome. Welcome to the Lunatic Asylum. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. All the time. So, um, Gabby, I guess we can put you up front first because you have a guest. You have a guest. So, so y'all want to wait till some people come in? I don't show but two. How many y'all showing y'all? Oh, two. 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 Yeah, let's just wait for a it second. It looks like people's streams yeah. are just starting to pop up on my phone. So, so well, welcome, guys. You are here. Welcome, with the three everybody. Amigas. Hi. Hi. And today we are discussing all about floral fragrances, but it's fragrances with a floral that's got a bit of a twist, that's got a bit of a dominant floral in it, that's a little bit, maybe, whatever takes your fancy. So I'm joined <laughs> by my lovely bougie fragrance. There she is, <laughs> to my right. No, to my left. I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> over here. Look Hi. at her. Look how Look how stunning she is. Does oh. everybody think she looks stunning? Oh. Yes. Oh, those honey, red I love lips, you. those white teeth, those booby doos, <laughs> and, and the then boobies. up above, and then up above. <laughs> Hi, Latonya. Hi, Courtney. And then up Hi. above, we have Queen Cassandra herself, yes. the mothership. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Yes, the mothership <laughs> here. Yes. And she is. Well, what can we say? We'll just. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, you. Uh, oh. Thank you. Thank Aww. you. And but, we have a special guest yes. coming in today. And this Hi, lady, everyone. what can I say about this lady? This lady, she's saucy. Beautiful. She's, she's spicy. Mm. She's sexy. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. She's. Oh, she's sultry. She's a siren. She's seductive. Oh. <laughs> she's everything that a man could want and love. Mm. Everything that we could all want and love. It is our one, our only. Drum roll, please. Fifty cents and Yay! Yay! Hi. hello. That was an so. Thank you. Hi. The spotlight's on you, Ange. So, Ange, tell us where you're from. We want to know about you. The UK. You're from the UK? London. And yeah, East London, born and bred. London, oh, born and bred. A London yeah. girl. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And what would you say is your fragrance? You know, what would you say in three words that would describe you? Three words. Well, I think you said it all. All those S's. Oh, Salty, did I? Active, <laughs> siren, whatever. <laughs> Love it. Oh. I have said it better myself. <laughs> uh, well, it's nice to have you here with us, Ange. Thank yes. you so much for inviting me. I feel You're welcome. You divas. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> So, Ange, what's your scent of the day? Tell us what your scent of the day um, is. So, today I'm wearing Miss Dior Eau de Toilette. So, it is Lovely. the Eau de Toilette version. So, this is mainly just rose, lily of the valley. There is some patchouli in it, but I don't get a huge amount of patchouli in it, but you can smell it. But it's fresh, it's light, it's spicy, it's juicy, it's fruity. It's just great for this time of year, basically. So, yeah. Yeah. I'll spritz some more on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Yay. My chat's not active. Let's see why not. Oh. So, Cassandra, the spotlight's on you. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> My scent of the day is Jennifer Aniston, and this is Jennifer Aniston. Okay, now this fragrance right here, it got a lot of 
things in it. It got your citrus, it got your rose, it got your jasmine, it got your violet, it got your musk, you got your amber in it. But this to me is a jasmine balm. I mean, it's sexy, semi-sweet, it's creamy because it got that sandalwood in it. I mean, to me, this is a gorgeous scent. Only thing is, it doesn't last, which most celebrities uh, don't last. And this lasts mind. like two hours on my skin, and then it turned intimate, which is fine with me, because, you know, I spray and get out of my booty, smell me. Baby, can you smell me? Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm happy. And once again, this is Jennifer Aniston. Lovely. So, Dawn. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm turning. I'm trying. I'm so sorry. I was trying to turn on my chat. I don't know why my oh. chat is inactive, but I'm trying to fix it. I'm wearing, I'm here. I'm so sorry. I'm wearing this ever loving lost lusted after bottle that nobody can find anymore. This says Look at that D ball. squared. I, I know. <laughs> oh, such a big I ball. know it's it, it. Yes, it is. And it's heavy. It's like, it's like a big cue ball, not a cue ball because cue balls are white. It's like a big ball for playing pool with. It's like about the size of that and just as heavy there. It's heavy. But this Jeez. is a ginger bomb. It's so hard to find. And when you do find it, everybody that has it wants a pretty penny for it now because because it's so hard to find. But I'm getting ready to hit 3000 subscribers. So I got a full unopened bottle that's going to go to somebody. <laughs> it's gonna oh, go to somebody. Wow. This smells like this smells like photography guy. Armani code <laughs> mixed with that other one, the ginger, the um, come Twilly. on, help me. Twilly. Twilly. It, it smells yeah. like Armani code and Twilly in one fragrance. It smells so good. Good job, you got one. Woohoo! Oh, well, <laughs> All right, and nice. that's what I have. That's what I brought. Wow. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Well, welcome. So. We have Anne 50 Cents here, who's spoken about her scent of the day. We've had the Mothership speak about her scent of the day. And we've had Crazy Door speak about <laughs> her scent of the day. So my scent of the day, and I'm going to bore everybody again. Yes, no, no. it's none other than my... Hi, Keetra. Hi, darling. Smooches. Yes, it's Papillon. I know everybody's bored with this fragrance, but... No, no, it's no. A jazz, it's animalic jasmine. And yes, let's just spray a bit on. It's a bomb on my skin and I love it. It's musky, woody, fresh, spicy. It's a real dirty jasmine. It reminds me of Joan Collins from Dynasty. Yes. And it's just, it's what, it's what a power... It's a powerhouse fragrance and it's got spicy carnation, but the jasmine is so animalic in this and the Turkish rose is lovely and it's got high racks, which some people might be a bit frightened of, mm -hmm. but it's blended so well. And Liz Moore's humour, one day I will get to see her once we're out of lockdown because she only lives about half an hour from me. So I'll get to see her horses and her owl and her pretty cats and everybody. So, but yes, Salome, it's just gorgeousness in a bottle and it's my signature. So there we go. Oh. So. You're still there. <laughs> I'm still here, am I? I'm still here. I'm ready for my close-up now, Mr. DeMille. Is it going to be like this? Is it? <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> well, what, what can I say? I'm still here. Somebody get me off and get me on somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the people that's in the chat, we've seen that you all have shown us your sin of the day. For those that just came in, Please put down your sin of the day. And we have our special guest here today, which is Ange from 50, 50 Cents UK. And um, I, what we're talking about today is fluorescent, a, one, a fragrance that has one dominant fluorescent. And um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to each one of our channels. So, and Ange, 
<laughs> yes, of course. Oh. And that's why I say each one of us, everybody uh -huh. that's on the panel. Um, my first fragrance is from Navias Parfum, and this is Adola. Oh, beautiful, Ooh. beautiful bottle. I love the bottle. Yes, it is gorgeous. Now, this here, baby, this was released in 2020. And this is one of big beard business fragrances. Um, hi, Crystal. Hi, Crystal. What I like about this fragrance hi, is the rose. It's a gorgeous rose fragrance. And the rose is so dominant in this. You got your bergamot, your nulla, I literally said bergamot. You got your jasmine, you got your peachiness, you got your vanilla, you got your patchouli, and you got your vetiver. But the the one who's leading the pack is the rose. And look at this itemizer. Wow. Mm. Now, this is a gorgeous, sexy scent to me. Now, it stays on my skin like four hours, and the sillage is moderate. Um, it's musky, it get creamy, and it does get powdery. Other than that, once again, Navias Parfum Adola. Love it. So, okay, so my next fragrance I'm going to talk about is going to be i've only got a little bottle here um but it's a very heavy floral note this fragrance it's very very heavy on the floral it is carnal it's only a small one it's carnal flower by the perfumer dominique ropion and um the perfume is by les editions de frederic mal so this is a white floral bomb so i don't know if anybody has used this before but i have ordered my husband well he hasn't actually because i was going to buy it anyway <laughs> but i've ordered a full-size bottle of this from frederick mal um but no i didn't pay full price because we never pay full price do we so no, no we, we never do that no we don't so this is a tuberose bomb and by tuberose, you can even smell the stem. It smells buttery. Um, it's got a bit of coconut in as well, but it's got tuberose in the heart and it's got tuberose in the base. So it is a real tuberose scent. There's also a little bit of um, eucalyptus in there, which gives it a bit of a camphorous feel as well, which I quite like that. But you do have to like tuberose. And yeah, it's, it's, it's just, I wouldn't say it's carnal. I don't know why they called it carnal flower. I would say it's for an assertive, strong person like us four and... I would say um, it's not for the wallflowers. So, but really, fragrances that we wear—they're not really for wallflowers anyway, are they? So, you know, the fragrances we wear—they are powerhouse fragrances. Yes. Um, but this tuberose is just—have you ever smelled real tuberose? Mm, I have. It, yeah, it, it's oh, it's just stunning. It, this is what it smells of. It's it's quite a solid floral, so it is quite strong on that but yeah it's it's a beautiful fragrance i would say and this is quite a sweeping statement it's probably the best tuberose i've ever smelled yes mm. have you ever wow. if you've not smelled this then it's good. yeah tuberose yeah. is good yes yeah there is another fragrance by diptyque called doson which is quite a nice tuberose which is a close match but this no <laughs> frederic mal Carnal flower. <laughs> you can't say made for kids with Gabby and Dawn on the live. <laughs> no. 
You know, YOLO, oh. you only live once. Have a good time, you know? <laughs> and I think, Don, I think yeah, what they're saying because you got it made for kids, that's why they can't come in. It is fixed. You can comment on, on it now. I fix it. It's all good. Um, We're safe. Okay. So hi, everybody. I know I've been just distant, but I was trying to fix the comments on our channels, but we're good to go. My next fragrance has my most hand down favorite note of all time oh, and it is no. what is it what is it, it? An end. It yes. An end. yes it's magnolia yeah this, magnolia. Oh my God. magnolia so i can find magnolia if it honestly if you put me in the big center of a big cow field and there's these cows have pooped all over the place <laughs> i would find that one magnolia Bud off of a tree in the middle of it. I can find it. I know. I know this. I know this. No. So, <laughs> this is actually Southern Essences Magnolia. She's got an Etsy shop. She doesn't. I found her on. Hi, Theresa. I found her on eBay, but she also has a shop on Etsy. She does other ones. She also does, I think, Jasmine. But let me tell you the notes that are in this bottle. Are you ready? Ready. Yeah. Okay. Whew. It's loaded. It's got magnolia oh. in it. <laughs> That's, That's it. it. Straight magnolia. It's just, it's just straight magnolia. Just straight I, magnolia. I, I've never smelt straight magnolia by itself. So it's how, amazing. how is it? What, is it mm. as sweet as jasmine or as buttery as tuberose? Both. Right. It's sweet like jasmine, but buttery like tuberose. It's yeah. both. Oh, right. It is it's creamy. It's it's oh gosh, I just can't get enough of this. I when I growing up, I had a magnolia tree in our yard in Virginia, and that was my most favorite place to be because of the, those magnolias, the blooms just hit you and hit you and hit you. And another thing about magnolia is bees do not pollinate magnolia trees, flowers. Oh. Beetles oh. do. Beetles, Beetles do. Oh. Oh, Beetles. Okay. But. The only fragrance, the only note in this fragrance is Magnolia. She did an amazing, amazing job. And I think this was like 30 bucks. Dirt wow. cheap. She's got super wow. affordable. So look her up. She's really, 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 really good. Uh, okay. Yay. So um, hi, Ange. <laughs> we're back to you. Hi. What you got, girl? Okay, okay so. I have chosen for my first one, this one, and it is Orchid Powder by Montau. Mm. Mm. Like, this is like nothing my collection, okay? This is quite unique smelling. It's very different. It's not like a traditional floral, because anyone that knows me knows I'm not really heavily into floral perfume. So for me to have a floral, then it's got to be extra special. And mm, this yeah. one, it has coconut in it. Obviously, orchid. It's got your ylang ylang. I can never say that right. Um, and mm -hmm. florals, mm -hmm. but it just smells so powdery, so sort of like vanilla-y, creamy. It's warm. It's very sensual. This is a beast. It lasts forever, like all Montals do. Yeah. It's got really yes. injection. It leaves like a powdery trail around you. It's very oh, Cassandra feminine. would love that. I just love it. I just love it. It's very addictive smelling. And this is a compliment getter. Definitely. A hundred percent. And actually, I wore this to the gym the other day. And it was so, so hot. And I was sweating buckets, right? But I could smell this the whole time I was at the gym. Honestly, it is such a beast it's beautiful it really is oh. and as i said it's very uh -huh. unique it's not like anything else that i've got in my yeah. collection so yeah, it does what it says on the pin orchid powder that's lovely it. but it's lovely i know giselle giselle from gb fragrances she's spoken about that fragrance before yeah. she said it's really I've lovely i've seen a couple of people talk about it but not a huge yeah. amount and i think um Adriana DC, she's another YouTuber here in the UK. I saw her talk about it and it was from her recommendation that I went and got this. So it was a blind buy for me. So it was a bit of a risk because it's floral, but it paid off. And yeah, I absolutely love this one. Hey, Octavia. 
Adriana DC. I don't know who she is. I'll have to look her up. Yeah, she's good, Gabby. <laughs> All right. All right. The next one I have is also a tuberose bomb, but it also has jasmine in it too. But the tuberose is what what stands out to me in this fragrance. And this fragrance is Christian Louboutin Louis Kiss. And then, baby, this was released in 2020. Just look at the bottle itself. It's a skull. Is that a skull? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Gorgeous bottle. Damn. The Damn. eyes are hard. <laughs> it's heavy, huh? Are the eyes hearts? Uh, yes. Are they they are. Yes. Oh, okay. the, the eyes are hearts. Oh. Oh god. And it is heavy. The bottle is heavy. I mean, mm. now let me just spray. See, Ooh. I got my fan on, so you probably can't see it real good, but I <laughs> seen it. Yeah. This him. Let me see what I wrote. I wrote so much stuff about this. <laughs> this spray for him, baby, is creamy, is slightly coconutty. Even though it don't have mm. no coconut in it, it just gives you that vibes of coconut, maybe because of that tuberose, the way that tuberose is blended in there, baby. Uh -huh. um, um, it just has four notes in it. It's jasmine, tuberose, and musk. Right. Uh-huh. And wow. that's what it says on Louboutin website, but on for Granica, they added woody notes. So yeah, right. it, it does have woody in it. Because a lot of these um fragrances, it says one or two notes. Now nah, they got more notes in it. They got more notes yeah. in it. But anyway, the dry down child in this is so beautiful. It musky, it's powdery, it's buttery because mm. of that tuberose. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, the tuberose is the bomb in this. So I wouldn't be wearing this, you know, especially in the office. I wouldn't wear it in the office because too much tuberose, you're going to kill somebody. And you ain't got to spray but one time. And it's just that potent. And like the other, fragrance, other two fragrances I sprayed, I can't even smell them no more in here. All I smell is this. Nothing but this, all in my room. So once again, this is Christian Louboutin, Louis Kiss. Louis Kiss. There we go. There we so, go. Right. So back on to me, spotlight on me again. So <laughs> this next fragrance was actually one that um, I saw on one of my subscribers' Instagram page. And her name, I don't know if you know her, called Tammy Loves Fragrance. Mm -hmm. she's, she's in Hawaii, I think. And she had a little sample of it, and I thought, right, that sounds just <laughs> like the Gabster. So I had to pick it up, and this came all the way from Rhode Island, I think. Is it mm -hmm. Rhode Island, or 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 is or is it Connecticut? I don't know where Connecticut is, but anyway, it is by um, the January Scent Project. So it's a little indie niche brand, which is the box here. So I'll open it up, and it's called Smolder Rose. So, now, this, let me tell you a story about this fragrance. Now, I wore this fragrance to bed one night. Just got to... And um, Richard had just showered, mm. and he came out of the shower, and the first thing he said to me was... Baby, what are you wearing? And <laughs> then the rest was no, no, no. Anyway, let's go back. Let's be <laughs> so no, so <laughs> he he asked me what I was wearing, and I told him, and he said, "Now I don't know whether to take this as a compliment or not, <laughs> but he said it reminded him of his childhood. Oh, and oh, it remind right. it reminded him of picking blackberries with his mother." So I was sat there thinking, okay, well, maybe that's broken the embers slightly, but um, <laughs> shall I just rinse it off now? 
<laughs> but it's rose and it's frankincense and it's got a seashell a seashell accord so like it's a salty like, yeah well it's not like Paco Rabanne Olympia salty it's not like that but it, it has a slight it's, it's a strange it's a strange smell but it's a nice smell I can smell Woody, I can smell the woodiness <laughs> in there. I can smell the woodiness in there. But it's got elderflower in there as well. So it's got elderflower and rose. And that rose and elderflower gives it a little bit of freshness. But Richard said it smelled like blackberries. I don't know where he got that from. But hmm. it is a strong scent, isn't it, Rich? Yeah, it's really, really strong really potent um and it projects um and i would only wear it in autumn and winter i wouldn't wear it in the height of summer hi pat pat saying hi <laughs> richard says hi um so yeah so that's um the january center project smolder rose um it's only a little 30 mil bottle but i quite like to support like little indie niche brands i'm try. i'm branching out a little bit you know um yeah. i don't you know i don't want to buy like big niche brands but the small ones i'm kind of like just sampling and testing the water um but yeah it's a beautiful beautiful scent yes lisa do you love it and lisa says she loves it so um so there we go so go check it out and the guy he's an artist the guy that's an artist that owns the company he's an artist himself so um yeah so there we go and go <laughs> check out tammy loves fragrances because she is so hilarious and funny and um she's from hawaii and she's yeah amazing and she needs to set up a youtube channel i keep telling her to set up a youtube channel so there huh? we go so she has a lot of fragrances, Gabby? She has a lot, a lot. And she's done Instagram lives. But she okay. needs to, she, so so she's, yeah, and she's brilliant. Yeah. Hi, okay. Francis. Hi, Francis. <laughs> so, Gabby, does he now find that sexy on you or does it still remind you him of your mom, his mom? No, he finds it sexy, but hopefully okay. not in a motherly way. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes but, men like to play that said, role. <laughs> he said, well, no, 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 no. I, I, I used to, no, no, no. Those, those days are gone. Those days of living in Paris are behind me of doing roles like that. So, but no, he, he said it, it, it was, it triggered a scent memory. Isn't it funny how you can wear something yes. and it yes. just triggers a scent memory. Yes. You know, you so, love it for the journey yeah. it takes you on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So mine is this is called Flower Bomb Rose Twist, and it's by Victor okay. and Rolf. And it's called Rose Twist because it's got again one note in it. It's rose. Yeah. This right. is so good. They really made this for layering, and right. <laughs> oh, good. You can layer with anything that could work well with a rose fragrance or has rose in it or anything but this is pretty much almost a solid oil it's a little bit thinner than an oil but really you could just wear just this it smells so good so good i love it i love it and does it's it smell like super fresh fertile. roses does it, it smell smells like fresh fresh roses? Fresh, yeah. fresh roses like you just put them in the vase and you're fluffing them and that smell you get right then and there that's what this smells like a really yeah. fresh fresh rose have you added a uh, fragrance to it to enhance that rose or have what, what did you wear that one with i haven't i haven't layered it oh. with anything because i just love the smell of this oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. i've just yeah. been wearing this by itself really but i'm sure you could put it with anything that has a rose accord to it or something that would work with a rose accord with yeah rose i accords. just sometimes <laughs> it's I, you know when you just cut roses and you get that fresh yes. smell it's, yes. it's so yes. lovely yeah and it, yeah it's so good and it's like a fresh cut rose it really is it smells so good i love it and i think i picked this up for ten dollars at marshall's ten bucks wow oh. yeah. victor and victor and rolf victor and rolf yes, yes. <laughs> I, I know 
I know. And that's why I picked it up. I'm like, there's no way. And I brought it home and I looked it up. I'm like, this was a steal. A steal. So, yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Welcome Hi. back, Ange. Welcome <laughs> back, Ange. Hi. Okay. So, the next one that I want to share with you is this one. And it's called Dolce Peony by Dolce & Gabbana. So cute. Um, Look at the colour and the yes, bottle. Yes, beautiful. Love it. And really, it smells kind of like how the bottle looks, just really cute, girly. It's very fresh. It's very clean. It's soft. It's fruity. It's airy. This has obviously peony. I'm smelling it now. It's so sweet and nice. So it's got peony in it. It's got freesia in it. I think it's got a touch of pink pepper because there is a ever so slight spiciness to it but it's so juicy it's got pear in it it's just smells gorgeous it's like classy girly playful all at once i absolutely love it and you can really smell the honey in this as well it's also very um, versatile I find that you can wear this anytime you know night day whatever season you fancy but it's not a huge projector that's the only thing but with scents like this i just chuck them in my bag and just spray myself whenever i fancy you know as you do <laughs> as i always do i love oh, sorry once i start i can't stop but yeah so <laughs> fruity, juicy, honey sweet classy girly very cute maybe a bit like me in a perfume no, I'm kidding. It's not like <laughs> that. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, that is Dolce. Dolce. All right. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I have that. It smells good. Mm. Yeah, I love it. Okay. My next fragrance is one that I got because of my sister Gabby. Oh, oh. oh. I love an orange blossom and a jasmine fragrance. And this is Christian Dior Pure Poison. Oh, yes. I know how I feel about this. I love you. I already see, I, I already put a dent in it. Yeah. And it's all because of Gabby. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. Now this here, y'all. Yes, it has jasmine. Yes, it has bergamot. Yes, it got gardenia. Yes, it got sandalwood and amber. But the leader of the pack to me is the orange blossom in this. Yeah, yeah. The orange blossom and that jasmine is leading the pack. But between the two is the orange blossom. Y'all, this is such a musky, powdery scent and everybody who knows me knows i love a powder receipt now mm -hmm. on me this lasts six plus hours and the siage is moderate so you're gonna have a bubble they're gonna know you came in the room they know you came out the room so they are gonna follow the smell so they're gonna know it was you. i mean to, this is sexy to me and this is a, to me it's a great wedding scent too yeah so, y'all need to think about this and did y'all forget about this now this christian dior pure poison gorgeous Ooh, well, I, I, that I wore that when richard and i renewed our vows that's the scent that i wore okay okay yeah, Sexy. Yeah. it is gorgeous it is really mm. gorgeous mm. yes it really flourishes in the heat as well yes it's, i mean you can wear it all year round but in the heat oh my god it it kind of, I think it intensifies more in the heat. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's gorgeous. So, the next one I'm going to talk about is going to be, let me have a look. It is actually, this next fragrance is, it's one for the boys. Ooh, but, the boys. But, yeah, one for the boys. And we like to give one for the boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, or two. 
<laughs> well, that's a, another video. But anyway, it is. It is. But I wear this. I wear this fragrance, and I stole this fragrance from Richard because. Oh. And this fragrance is, I think, it's about probably about twelve years old now. It's Dior on intent. Mm, now yes. you can see Do i've got a bit yes. oh yes oh yes now this wow. fragrance let me tell you it is dawn i don't know if you'll like this because it's an iris bomb oh. but but, <laughs> but it's so powdery it is oh Stay. hang on a minute i'm just i'm just gonna do a snort <laughs> yeah i just <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful. It is. It is. Oh. Oh, gosh. I just. Oh, let me just. Oh, God. I sprayed it in my face again. <laughs> you just forget to hear that oh, you know. You're becoming face. notorious for not knowing where oh, your nozzle God. is, honey. Oh, well, well, well. You know. You know. I. Anyway, let's just spray it in the air. Oh. It's the fan. You it's the fan. It's the fan. I'm, well, we know about this, girls. I'm getting a blowback. You know, it's like, <laughs> oh, it's like, it's like but this, this fragrance, this fragrance here. Well, oh, calm down, Gabby. Just calm down. Come on. It, 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 it is. It's I just, it's, breath. it's versatile. A man or a woman can wear this. Let's face it, any, you know, I mean, we like feminine Anything. fragrances, yes, but, yes. Any, but, you know, <laughs> this has iris. Yes. Oh, sorry, um, this has iris. It has lavender <laughs> and it has vetiver. So that's what I really pick up. But it's the iris in this. It's that purple floral that gives it that powderiness that's beautiful. <laughs> it's, dare I say, moist. It's, moist. you know, it's, yes, it's... Moist. It's you know it's it's just what, beautiful. What, what? I, it's yes. Hi Annie. Hi Annie. Um, so I just saw Annie come up there. So yeah. But um, but yeah. So this is Dior Om Intense. So if you can, I know it's been reformulated since this yeah. version, but it's still just as good. Still just as good. And I think Cassandra, you would love this fragrance if you if you've mm. not tried it, mm -hmm. um, because the iris is in this is the masterpiece. It's the powderiness. It's just beautiful. It's comforting oh, and cozy. Comforting and cozy. So there we go. Bad. And you can wear it to the office. Oh, wear it to the office. Wear it to a garden party. Wear it to your in-laws. It's it's what I call a good person fragrance. So when I want to be good. Well, which is on the rare, which is very rare, I know. But when I do want to be good, <laughs> then I do wear this. So Dior on intense. There we go. All right, all right, Gabby. <laughs> I, that iris, I don't know. I just, I've tried to like it. I have it in yeah. my collection. I know so many of you love iris. <laughs> I just can't. I don't want to smell like a damn pickle. <laughs> to me, it smells like a oh, pickle. I don't, a pickle. A pickle. It's really weird. A weird no, I don't pickle. Get pickles. I don't know why I get that from Iris. I just don't know why, but I'm just not a fan. So while we're talking about mm -hmm. that, I brought Paul <laughs> Grace Splendida Iris Dior. This oh. is not staying with me. I can't. I thought I liked it. I tried to give yeah. it love. I don't like it. I don't like it. It smells well, it smells like a pickle. <laughs> like oh, a horribly so made pickle. I just don't like it. Has. I'm sure Cassandra I mean, probably can not. take it off with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm unless I think it's it. Yeah, I think unless it's blended in really well with something that covers up I don't know what it is about Iris. I just, I'm not a fan, but I brought it because it's Iris and it's, well, you know, that's what stands out. Yeah. Cyrus says smell, uh, smell like carrot on her. Carrot. See, isn't carrot. that weird how different notes do different things to different people? Really? Mm. This makes me smell like a pickle. <laughs> I don't want to smell Strange. like a pickle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to smell. I don't want to look like a pickle. I don't want to smell like a pickle. So I, I, I just not like my it. thing. 
<laughs> this photographic guy like it. Maybe he can wear it. There you go. I don't know. Photographic guy, put this on. <laughs> Let's see. Do you smell pickles? He's he's trying it on. What do you smell? I don't smell pickles. He don't smell pickles. <laughs> I smell Everybody pickles. And get on your skin for a minute. And then yeah. Take a check. When you say pickles, like do you mean like gherkins? No, I mean like a really bad somebody tried to home make their own pickle juice and it's not oh, a good thing. Nice. It's just not good. Oh. Francis, it's yours. It's it's going to you. I, you now own my Iris door. I will send it to you, sweetie. You can have it. I, yes, I don't like Francis it. I'm not gonna wear Iris. it. She, loves she will Iris. love she will love this fragrance because it's an iris bomb. <laughs> he he doesn't mind it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yes, Courtney. Courtney yes. said decadent. decadent. Do you know what? Smells it like does pickles. smell a little bit like pickles. Yes, yeah. This kind of smells like decadence. Yeah. Oh, pickly. Okay. I just don't like it. No, 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 no. Not for me. Francis, it's yours. I'll send it to you, sweetheart. <laughs> Hi. So, uh, Hi. <laughs> she uh -oh. froze. She's frozen. Uh oh, honey. Oh, it's, oh, it's no. all that. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, we can. Yeah, you you were oh. frozen. Oh, okay. Sorry. I hope I'm unfrozen now. Um, okay, so this, this next one is this beautiful bottle here. And yes. this is Maison Lancome's Rose Peonia. Ooh. Look at the colour of that piece. Rose, what was that? Berber answer, did you say? No, it's called Rose Peonia. Oh, okay. oh Rose Peonia. Yeah, oh. Rose Peonia. And obviously it's dominantly rose. It has peony in it as well, but it has raspberry in it as well. It's got pink pepper. It's got water notes in it. But it has something called May Rose in it, which apparently is like a honeyed rose. So I think that's where you get the sweetness from. There's an ever so slight fizziness to this that I get. Um, but it gives me kind of like Turkish delight vibes as well. Right. But it's also kind of like, you know, when you've got fresh up roses, like really good quality roses, and they're in like the most expensive crystal vase. That is what this reminds me of it's just class elegance it's luxurious it just smells absolutely beautiful it's fresh mm. it's so rosy and it's just got the right amount of sweetness in it so it's not too sweet but it is sweet still but it gives it has that like aquatic freshness to it as well it's just lovely like i love rose perfumes anyway and this is not a grandma rose at all i think this is an any age rose it's yeah not too bad for lasting again i wouldn't say it's a beast but it's moderate um yeah i, I love it i can't stop spraying this one but then again i can't oh, stop yeah. spraying any to be fair but yeah yeah so that you're, is you're the rose Peonia by Amazon lancome wow Yay. you're the queen of spray it sounds good <laughs> I'm surprised mm -mm -mm. I've still got some left. Trust me, I spray like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. Hi. Okay. My next one is a celebrity scent. And this is Crystal Gardenia from KKW. And this is what it looks like. Oh, That's it looks pretty. like DKNY. No, this is, yeah, this him right here. That's why I said, don't sleep on celebrity fragrances. Some of them are really good. Yeah. Say, yeah. Mm. This is what it says, a gardenia bomb. Mm. This is so good. Okay. You get grapefruit in it. You get your gardenia, but you also get some tuberose in it. You get yeah. some musk, 
and you got amber in it also. <laughs> and you also got that sandalwood in it. The crystal hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like yeah. kryptonite. Yeah. Yeah. It's so and, cool. Yeah, and you got that sandalwood in it. And I think that sandalwood and that amber, all that mixing together with this um gardenia. Yeah, this is so sexy to me. I don't know why. I love it, y'all. And then you got that tuna roast in there that messing with it too. And uh this celebrity scent it stays on my skin mm -hmm. six mm -hmm. hours y'all and the siage you gonna get the siage i mean people gonna know you in and out i mean oh this is so gorgeous mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. does that bottle stand up or do you have to lay it down it lays down that's the only thing uh, I uh, it lays uh, down uh. <laughs> Yes, it lays it is out. pretty well, though. I'm sure I can get something, find something and sit it up, but it lays yeah. out. And so in my container right here, I prefer to lay down because I'd be like, don't, don't break, don't break. Cause I really do love this scent. Now, if we was talking about a ooh one, they also got crystal um gardenia ooh and baby talking about sick. Y'all know I love my ooze. I love my ooze. That's sexy too. So oh. don't sleep on don't sleep on KKW. Yeah, I know how their um their makeup is and some of their fragrances are, but some of their fragrances are really good. You just got to take your time and pick one and wear it. You know, get your sample and wear it and see if that's what you like. Cause this here, I love it. Once again, KKW Crystal Gardenia. That's pretty. That's really pretty. pretty. That bottle. I don't oh, know if I can, I can get it here in the UK. I'm no, not no. sure. I've not. I no, don't know. KKW or just this no. one. No, the the KKW. I don't think oh, we can okay. get it here in the UK. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I've only ever seen is it a black one. So Do what? they? They ship hmm. to the UK. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And right. they still have some on their website. They don't get different kinds now. But I think this one and the ooh one is the only ones that they got on their website now. But yeah, you need if you like gardenia, you'll love this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So the next uh, I don't know what we got next. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, right. A Here picture we go. stand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Put it on a picture stand. That's what Francis yeah. said. Got on a picture stand. Mm -hmm. So the next one I'm going to talk about is from the House of Dewa Fragrances, because I love Dewa okay. Fragrances. And again, it comes in the little bottle, in the little, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> it opens up. And this one is wow. called White Florals and Incense. Mm. And it's meant to be, I, I've not tried it, but it's inspired by Mask Milano, whoever Mask Milano is. Is that a niche brand? Luci Ed Ombre. So there we go. But I blind bought it, but I knew I was going to like it. <sighs> and um, this um what's it gotten here so it has frankincense and you know i love frankincense but it's the jasmine and the tuberose in this that really kind of is the star of this it's heady it's sweet it's it's bright it's rich it's green it's balsamic the frankincense adds a bit of a backbone to it. Um, it's an extra de parfum. You can see it there, white florals and incense. It's an extra de parfum, so it's stronger than an eau de parfum. Um, yeah, but um, I think the greenness comes from the moss in there. I think that's what it does. But um, but I really do love it. It's, it's a beautiful fragrance, strong, projects um so yeah so there we go there's not really much more to say about it but the florals, <laughs> the florals are the tuberose and 
the jasmine and the frankincense. And I love the smell of frankincense on its own, actually. Um, I know that's quite Christmassy frankincense, but mm -hmm. this you can easily wear in the spring and summer, um, easily. Actually, I don't think I would wear this in winter, even though it's got that incensey vibe. I think the florals are much more dominant in here. So yes, Ke Keilani, yes, yeah, so if you can, try and get it if you can. So yeah, white florals and incense. Yes, and please everybody, don't forget to subscribe and give a big thumbs up. And if those of you want to give a big thumbs down, then well, you know, we'll jealousy, is, je jealousy is an illness, so get well too. <laughs> so there we go. So there we go. <laughs> Kaylani, honey, hi. How are you? How's the baby? <laughs> Much love to you, girl. Um, so my next fragrance. Um, let's just go through the main accords it's white floral it's almond it's sweet it's ambery it's woody because i have to like okay. that it's soft spicy <laughs> nutty fruity vanilla and lactonic cassandra if you don't have this one i think we've talked about it before but i don't remember this is also a bulgari and this one is i had to pick up the right bottle jasmine noir no, oh, I don't have it. But it's how my can head. you not have this? I, it's, oh. it's beautiful. How can you not have this? No, I'm, I'm <laughs> right down now. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. You have to, have to. If you will love this, good, good. Oh, <laughs> baby sleeping. Baby but sleep. Baby's asleep. So this. Cassandra, it's Jasmine Noir. Come on, just the name, but the name, the name, the name. But it's been I discontinued, know. Dawn. It's been discontinued. I've heard that, and I've heard yes. it's getting hard to find. Well, yeah. oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you got it. You got to get it. You will love it so much. Do you know what? It has a little bit of, dare I say, Black Orchid vibes, but I still like it. It kind of does a just little, a little bit, just a little, little bit. Little. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. What it's got in it, it's got gardenia and green notes, jasmine, sambac, almond, licorice, which I don't smell the licorice in it at all. It's got tonka beans, precious woods, amber, musk, and patchouli. But that jasmine screams, that sweet powdery that's just it's really, the jasmine in this thing is amazing. And I can't believe discontinued is it's dumb. Okay. It's just dumb. Yeah. You can <laughs> get one which so is nice. called Splendida Jasmine Noir, but that one is different to the original Jasmine Noir. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. I know. I've, I've tried and. Keep damn. looking. Maybe it'll just fall. <laughs> through your hand. Keep looking. It's It's got to happen. Yeah. It's got to happen. <laughs> Photographic guy. Oh, there you are. It's Hi, Ange. Okay, I see it. You see it. Oh, I'm not to cut you off. I see it. How much? Oh, $80. 80? Um, oh, that's that's about the going price. Yeah, that's about a going that's price for that. that. Yeah. But that was not bad. Percent off, but I can get 35 percent though. Heck yes. Hi, Gerda. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, You've got to have it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and sorry, are you having diff technical that's difficulties fine. today? I I know, my, I, yeah, what's going happening? On. I don't know if it's happening or what, but yeah, technical difficulties. So sorry about that. If, it, if I cut out, it's not my fault, okay? You've got great <laughs> right. We understand. We understand. So this next one is Kayali Deja Vu White. Oh, Black. yes. Have any of you guys got this? No. Yes. No, I've, I've, oh, I've been so no. on the fence about it. So on the fence. I think you would like this one, Gabster. I think you would like it. Um, so this has a lot of gardenia in it. It's quite woody. It's fruity though, so it has um, pear and nectarine in it. It's got some other white florals in it. So it's got tuberose in it as well. It's got sandalwood. It has vanilla. So it's got a very creamy vibe to it. It's just, yeah, creamy goodness, definitely. And it's kind of like Middle Eastern. So you do get like that Middle Eastern vibe from it as well, which I love. I actually like that. 
it's got patchouli in it, but it's not the sort of patchouli that if you don't like patchouli, you would still probably like this fragrance. But yeah, it definitely yeah. gives me that Arabic princess vibe. It's like luxury. This smells like money to me. You know, Ooh, like one of them yes. it's like <laughs> that. It's, it's rich woman's perfume or rich man's yeah, perfume. Yeah. But this is class. I like the fact. Just, yeah. You love what? I like the fact that you can get it in small bottles as well. I think yes. it's quite good. So if you want to try it. Exactly. Oh. That's what I love about that as well. And to be fair, I haven't worn this one that much. Out of all the Kaalis that I've got, this is the one that I've worn the least. But now I'm spraying it, I feel like this is going to work so well in the sun. I think I need yeah. to pull this one out. This is strong as well. This is really strong. It's a... Uh... I, I, I know, like yeah. So, yeah. I know I Tara Michelle from Opinionated yeah. Sense. She said that um, she's layered that, I think, with the musk. There's one called musk as oh, well. Yes, mm -hmm. that Which one. is meant to be oh, really nice. Yeah, this, these um, are good for layering, definitely. And I love the atomizer. Look how that sprays. Like. Yeah. Ooh. Gosh. It's like a laser beam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Oh. Bye, Bye, Annie. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Annie. Bye, -bye, Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye Annie. Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> okay. to our channels if you're not subscribed. Don't forget to give everybody a thumbs up. And no, we don't have Angie in the um, description section so far as her channel, but. Um, her name is you all know she's 50 cent uh underscore uk so um you can go to her channel and subscribe and after this go um from being live once this once the live is over she should be able to put it on her channel then yes um my last fragrance y'all hi carolyn last one last, last, one, last one. one no last <laughs> last one. One. yes Gucci Bloom. So this oh, is wow. Gucci Bloom and Broxen de Ferro. De Ferro. Now this came out in 2019, y'all. And some people said this is a honeysuckle bomb. It's a jasmine bomb. But I'm just saying it's a tuberose bomb. Because mm. you really can smell all that in this fragrance. But I just feel that the tuberose is more potent than anything. Yes, baby, it's up there. It's up there. Don't get me going. And we don't, don't want to start um, going about that fragrance. That's nope, why not. I didn't do a review. After okay. I smelled it and stuff, I, I didn't even do a review. And I, if you want to hear about it, Watch Dawn's on because Dawn, Dawn told it like it was, so I didn't Broke have a heart. review on it. But we love it, just we love the bottle. We love the bottle, we love the bottle. Yeah. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> this is a gorgeous scent, it's gorgeous, y'all. It's really is gorgeous, and some people say it's sexy, so it's depending on what you call sexy. Like the majority of jasmine, um, tuberose fragrance and orange blossom, for some reason on my skin, they just feel sexy to me. And they make me go somewhere that I shouldn't be sometimes. So <laughs> once again, woo, once again, this is Gucci, Gucci Bloom, and Broxley D. Fiero. Beautiful. I've only got the original Gucci Bloom, which is again like tuberose mm -hmm. um, and honeysuckle. Mm -hmm. But I know there's another Gucci one I'd like, which is, is it Natara di Fiore? I think. Okay. Which, yeah. But I think, I think once you've got one, I think they all smell yeah. fairly similar, really. Right. So, right. But um, is it, does it perform quite well? Yes. Yes. Uh, on my skin, seven plus hours. 
Oh, that's and, good. Like I said, and the sea arch is it's it's strong. It's strong. Right. And yeah. they, they gonna smell you going, coming, knowing somebody done been here with that fragrance on. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It good. Is. But I wouldn't wear it in the summer. To me, it's just too much. Too much. Too much. Yeah. 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 So I think this is our my final one. It's a little ditty one. And um it's by Aaron Terrence Hughes who's here in the UK. Now he's a perfumer that is self-taught. Um, he's kind of broken away from other perfumers. Um, he's has a, he's quite, an, he has very strong opinions about the perfume industry, which is good. You know, you should check out some of his reviews. You know, some of them are quite scathing. <laughs> Okay. And some of and some of them, yeah. Aaron Terence Hughes. He has a channel here on YouTube, and he has his own perfume range. And this one that I sampled, and I got a ten mil size, is called Dirty Jasmine. Dirty Jasmine. Now, yes. Wow. That's now, got, this, Cassandra would like that. All well, right. well, it says this Jasmine. Is, this is Jasmine, but it's got amber, oak moss incense vetiver but the jasmine it and described a fragrance um and it was from oh it made me laugh now what was it called the and the description that and said is like this fragrance as well so do you imagine mutton dressed up as lamb do you understand that expression <laughs> i don't <laughs> It's it's like a an old an older woman, and she's trying to look younger than she really is. Oh, okay. Um, so it's like that, and she she is sat in the corner of the room, and she smokes fifty fags, like Anne just said, and she. <laughs> I'm not doing a good description here, am I? But you're doing um, fine. <laughs> but it's. <sighs> It's it's a strong jasmine and it's animalic, but it's it's so it's just strong. It it it. I'm not sure if you'd like this, Cassandra. Actually, you might do. You might do. Um, I'm not going to uh, spray this bottle because if I spray it, I've got the fan here and I'm going to get <laughs> yes, but. What was that fragrance, Ange, that you spoke about? It was, I can't remember the fragrance that Ange spoke about, and it was about... Fifth Avenue, Fifth Avenue Royale. Was it Elizabeth, Casino, Casino, what was it? Elizabeth Arden, Fifth Avenue Royale. Oh, yeah, Elizabeth Arden, Fifth Avenue Royale. That was the perfume that I know you spoke about. So this fragrance gives me a little bit of those vibes, Ange. So you, Ange, okay. so Ange, Ange is, you know... She's a dirty woman like me, so she would like this, you know. So yeah, so oh, you know, it's sure. you would, and you would really love it, really love it. Because I did gift Ange one of his fragrances called Dirty S L U T. Um, so because yeah, that was so one of his fragrances. Dirty <laughs> what? S L U T. <laughs> I thought that what you said. Yeah, okay. yeah. So his fragrance, he, he has a fragrance called S-L-U-T, and he also has a fragrance called Dirty S-L-U-T. Um, ah. But it's all about freeing yourself from labels. It's all yes. about, mm -hmm. you know, there's labels for everybody nowadays. Yes. And yes. He, he sticks his middle finger up to society sometimes and gives a bit of an F you. And, um, <laughs> and I quite like people like that because it makes people think. It makes people question things, you know. And I, I quite like to make people question things. So um, so I was quite intrigued by his range. And Chantal Tiffany, another fragrance reviewer, go check her out. She's done a lot of his reviews on here. He does some gorgeous fragrances. Actually, Cassandra, you would love Luna and you would love Forbidden. You would really love those two fragrances. I'm writing them down. 
Yeah, Luna and Forbidden. They are gourmand dreams. They really are. Whereas this is a floral. This is a floral dream. So, yes, Dirty Jasmine by Aaron Terence Hughes. So there we go. All right, all right. Cassandra, that's called Dirty Jasmine. How about you take the jasmine, I'll take the dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the mother word that she said they named. No, no. <laughs> I might need one of the mother <laughs> That's living on the edge. <laughs> so my next one is also a Bulgari uh, product. This is the Splendida Magnolia Sensual. It's citrus, okay. white floral, sweet, musky, uh -huh. vanilla, powdery, and patchouli. And you know, I definitely picked this up because Magnolia. I mean, Magnolia. And that's another thing I realized there's a hot fragrance house out there that's not affordable. It's called Tiziana Terenzi. A lot of yes. their fragrances are made with magnolia. And I was oh. looking through their book and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that and I need that and I need that and I need that and I don't have them. But, you know, maybe I'll have to talk to Photography Guy Corporate and get me more magnolia in my life because I can't have enough of it. I'll trade everybody out there, Iris anything for your magnolia anything. I'll just trade. We'll just trade. <laughs> but I love it. It's really good. I, I, this is actually, I think, my third bottle. No, that's the wrong. Right. That's Jasmine. This is my third <laughs> bottle because <laughs> it's really, really good. So this is that's tuberose. Um, Sorry, magnolia. No. Magnolia. Oh, magnolia sensual. Magnolia oh, sensual. Magna magnolia. It is smells so good. So good. But what so is good. your all-time favorite magnolia fragrance, though, Dawn? What's your so far? I'm gonna have to say Dolce and Gabbana's Garden. Oh, yeah. It's so yeah. pretty, magnolia. Is that in the and yellow that coconut? No, it's. It looks like um Amber's uh, Angie's peony I'm bottle it. with the blood and the flower on the top. It looks yeah. like Angie's peony bottle, but it's it's got garden is written in green on it. Yeah, Cassandra's gonna grab it. Oh, and right. that magnolia mixed oh. with coconut is a creamy, sweet, just succulent gorgeousness. And I love that's probably my all time hands down most favorite magnolia fragrance. Yeah. It smells so good. It performs quite well, does it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Hey. <laughs> so, we made it to the last one, guys. Last wow. one. Yes. You survived. Yes. No, I did. Thank you. So, this last perfume, and Gabby, I think you would love this one. It is yeah. by Miller Harris. And it is called Noir. I think it's Noir. It's N O I X. Is that how you say it in French? Oh, noir. You, noir. You're the French expert. Noir. noir. <laughs> yeah. And it is by Miller Harris, which is a niche perfume brand here in the UK. That's um, they make real quality perfumes. And this is no exception. This is so strong. This is a powerhouse. If you like tuberose, I think you will love this. But it uh, does have other florals in it as well. I think it's got mimosa in it. Um, but the tuberose is so dominant. It's so buttery and so creamy, almost to the point of being like a gourmand perfume, even though uh -huh. it's not gourmand. But it does have bourbon vanilla in it. So I guess that might be where the gourmand vibe comes from. But this is so sexy right when i tell you this is grown woman sexy you know that kind of vibe this says yes come and get me I'm ready. wow right. oh yeah oh, oh. Yes. Oh, oh. Yes. i so need some <laughs> it's thick oh. it's thick it's creamy it's almost edible there's no bubble Ooh. gum vibe to it as i said before florals are not my jam normally but this one there's just something about it. It's just mm, sensual, sexy, mm. seductive, all of those things, you know? It's beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah, you can check this one out, do, because it is so Not lovely. Not a tuberose, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
Yay, thank you. Yes. That's it. We finished. Everybody, we have, what? We are. It's over. Yes, we are through. We are. Photographic yeah. guy, if you want to pull Gabby up so she can thank her amazing, beautiful guest. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, everybody that has come here to the live this evening. Thank and you. thank you thank to you. Ange. Ange, thank you for coming. I know it's been. You know, do you need do you need to be medicated now, Ange? You know, now, <laughs> now, 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 now you. You. See, I need a rum, a rum and coke. I need right. A now. rum and coke. Oh, oh. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and lie down myself because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've been working all day and I'm tired and you know. But it's just so nice to catch up with you, ladies, and yes. talk about our favourite dominant floral fragrances. And you can probably hear the sirens in the background. Um, so, yes, yeah, so so thank you, everybody, for joining us. And please don't forget to Aww. give a comment down below. Give a big thumbs up if you want Sandra, to. Cassandra, look at the screen. <laughs> oh, you've got oh, thank five you, dollars. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so, we, so, there we go. So... Who's next, so, photographic yeah, so, guy? Yeah. Okay. What I would like to say, um, thank to the our dear beautiful Ange for joining us today. I just hate you made so much trouble. So you're gonna have to come again when we get this when we get this figured out. You're gonna have to come again. <laughs> you have to come again. We really did enjoy you, and the audience enjoyed you. So that's the good yes. thing about it. And I want to thank all Great. of my beautiful sisters on the panel. I love each and every last one of you all. I want to thank all the people that came in and watched us that's in the chat. Um, we love you all. And we're glad that you all love us that way, too. Because don't care what we're doing, you always come and show out. And we really, really, really do oh, appreciate you. it. Yes, yes, come back. Yeah. So, Ange, I'm so glad I got to kind of meet you through your little interruptions there. I know it's probably just enough to make you pull your hair out, but there's going to be other times I'm sure that we'll, <laughs> we'll get to spend some time together. But I love you. <laughs> so, I love you. I love you. <laughs> It was so much fun. And Gabby, girl, you know I got your back. Cassandra, you know I'm your sister. So other than that, thank you, everybody, for joining us. I wanted to say something else. Oh, Cassandra and I have another live this evening with we're doing. Oh, it's going to be sexy. That's all I can say. <laughs> so, I know you all probably have seen the um, thumbnail. If you haven't, check yeah. out the thumbnail. It's out Ooh. there. Yeah. It's gonna be sexy, sexy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sexy. Hi. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. I really enjoyed it, despite all the technical difficulties, which I don't know where they came from. I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi. I don't know what, or maybe it's just me because I'm no good with technology whatsoever. I don't know how I get through the day at work sometimes. To be fair, but anyway. <laughs> We survived. We got there. And yeah. thank you so much, you beautiful ladies, for having me as your guest. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. You so loved it. Loved it so thank much. You. Thank you for coming, Ange. No problem. Honey, put wow. me back. There we go. Put so, me back. I want to say real quick, next month on the Three Amigas, it's the second Sunday of the month. It's my turn to choose a guest. I've already got somebody in mind that I discussed with the, or my other two Amigas, and I'm so excited. They're like, yes, yes, yes. So I can't wait to ask her. And then I'm going to pick the topic. So we're going to, it'll be fun next month as well. So yeah. thank you everybody for joining us and showing everyone thank your you love all. and the thumbs ups. Thank we you appreciate all. all of you. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. And Cassandra. Yes. Thank yes. you for hosting these. Every yes, Sunday you're you. hosting our, our groups and it's we appreciate you for that as well. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Yay. We love you. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.